Meanwhile, Gogebic County residents will have an important vote on the health of their community in August. The millage to retain emergency medical services on the ballot on, in the county, excuse me, is on the ballot. TV6's Caden Minus takes a look at how vital these services are to the community. Coming up on August 6, Gogebic County residents will have to vote on a millage to determine if EMS personnel will still continue to serve the county. Gogebic County Ambulance Committee Chairperson Jim Lawrenson says the millage is remaining at one mill. He says this allows the county to contract for services with Beacon Ambulance and Aspirus Medevac. Our county is not unlike other counties across the state of Michigan, across the region, in fact across the country, where rural EMS services uh, are finding it really tough uh, to continue operations. Lawrenson says the millage was renewed in 2021 with two-thirds support. This vote would renew it for another three years. He says the closure of the Aspirus Antonagon Hospital in April reinforces emergency medical services are needed. We have an aging population across the county uh, and we have a lot of outdoor recreational opportunities. So having uh, emergency medical services available when we need it is critically important to our economy. It's critically important to the quality of life of people in Gogeba County. Lawrenson explains EMS personnel do more than respond to emergencies. Let's use for an example, someone falls at home. They need help getting up, but they don't need to go to, an am to a hospital. Our ambulance providers, our EMS providers will go to that home. They'll assist the individual and there's no charge. For those of you that want to learn more about the millage, there are two information meetings happening in July. To learn more information, go to UpperMichiganSource.com or the TV6 and Fox UP mobile news app. Caden Minus, TV6 News, Go Gibbet County.